<laughs> you knew. I already know. You knew. How'd you know? Biggest boxing fight this year. <laughs> 80,000 people, I think, you know. Are you going to be there? I'm not actually get back to England the week, two weeks after, so yeah, I was uh, going to go. I miss it. I was going to go with Lonsdale and support uh, Carl Frock. I think he's, I think he's going to do it convincingly this time. Last time, I feel a little bit sorry for Groves, to be honest. Um, so wait, wait, you're in agreement then, Groves won the last one? I wouldn't say he won it because the fight was still going, you know. I think yeah. it was early stoppage, but I believe, you know, Frock was coming on top, but, you know, um, that's all if, you know, what could have happened, what, it, you know, what what did happen was, was Groves probably won, you know, seven of the rounds and was, in, you know, had a knockdown of 10-8 in the first, so, um, but, you know, I think it's uh, going to be a similar fight this time. I don't think Frog gets gets caught early, and and I think he'll he'll probably win a points fight. You know. Do you think he underestimated him? I don't think he underestimated him, but um, I just think he got caught. You know, Frog. You know, people say he's limited everything else, which is which is a bit of a joke, really, considering the level he's performed at. But he's just a very fit, aggressive, strong guy. And Groves, you know, is Groves very technical fighter. You know, I remember as an amateur. Um, he was younger than me, but you know, it was about the same sort of time. He's very, very hard puncher as well. He doesn't doesn't necessarily look what you'd think is a is a powerful guy, but he's got. I believe he's one of the hardest hitters in that division. You know, so. Wait, you fought with him in the amateurs? No, he was much younger than me. But when I was boxing amateur, you know, he was boxing amateur. So well, you so. saw him though. You yeah. guys kind of yeah. came up, and so, okay, you know, is style different now from back then? Uh, yeah, I mean he's. He works. He works a lot with Adam Booth, so he has that similar kind of. He rolls a lot more like a pro, like David Hay, that kind of style. But yeah. um, still very long punches. You know, he punches very long, punches very snappy. I believe. You know, his amateur background is is a part of that. And um, yeah. What did you make of Amir's win over Colazzo? Didn't see it. You know, you didn't, didn't see it. it. I uh, I actually was uh, a little annoyed that that fight happened because I saw the Mayweather poll and I expected Mayweather to fight Amir Khan. And, you know, and the poll was basically irrelevant. He chose to to take the guy with the with the less figures, but you know, Amir Khan's always dangerous. I think he'll come unstuck against the top top guys. Um, but you know, he's a fantastic attacking boxer and he make a lot of money just because it's exciting to watch. You know, is there anything else that's interesting you right now uh, in, in British boxing? No, you know, gone the days of uh, Jamie Moore was probably <laughs> probably one of the most exciting guys in the UK and. Um, no, not really. You know, there's a few guys I know that domestically looking out, seeing how they're doing, and but not, you know, not really. I think the Frock Gross thing is is such a big fight, and I'd like to see Tyson Fury. You know, I think he's going to dispatch Derek Chisora again, but I'd like to see him against the Klitschko and just, you know, just give him the platform to to keep running his mouth and put a bit of excitement into heavyweight boxing. Is that competitive fight, Fury and Klitschko? It could be. It could really? be just because he's so big. You know. You know, Klitschko's fighting someone who's the same size as him, you know. Fury doesn't look technical, but, you know, he's a seven-foot man and, and he's unbeaten. So until he gets beaten, uh, you know, people can say what they like. And, uh, you know, I think Klitschko's are getting older and I think he's got a, I think he's got a chance, you know. He's got just as much a chance as, as everybody else that's, you know, been going in there. And, you know, I'd like to see it happen, to be honest. But no Fury versus Kane, right? No, it'd be ridiculous. <laughs> you know. uh, he knows that. I'm sure he yeah, knows I that. Know. But, um, <laughs> You know, boxing fight would be ridiculous as well, so either way, but um, it's just promotion, you know, just to talk her and, um, yeah, boxing and MMA, two different things, and I don't know why everybody has to compare them to each other, so. What about you, MMA-wise, what's going on, when's your next bout? No, nah, not much, just training, helping uh, Mark get ready for Germany and uh, going with, you know, Pat, Pat to uh, his fight in New Mexico, so just waiting, just trying to train and, and, and work on a few things, and hopefully um, something comes up. When would you like to have a fight? No, it doesn't really matter to me, to be honest. I mean, I like to compete every month if I could. So, yeah. it's, uh, you know, one thing is UFC has taken a little while to get fights. So, um, that's the game and just see what happens. Tom, thank you very much. Appreciate it, man. All right, pleasure. No worries.